So here we have the Vauxhall Mocha on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total mass of this car, which is 24,472. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there using controls on the indicator stalk uh, for various different bits of car information. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up, which is done over on the touch screen in the center just here. Also over here, you'll see that we've got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how this works on both our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, working our way across to the audio, uh, there's plenty of ways to listen to your music. We've got DAB radio, we've also got AM and FM as well. Uh, if you listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the uh, USB input, the auxiliary input, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. There are certain voxel-friendly apps that can also be projected up onto the screen by hitting the projection uh, tab just there. Working our way down, we have the dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the fan speed, the direction of the air, and the temperature for the passenger and driver. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns the air conditioning off in this case, or back on again, or hit auto, and in doing so, the car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain these temperatures for you. You can override that whenever you wish to, simply by readjusting the fans, and you can put it back in a manual mode just there. Inside here, we have a 12 volt charging socket, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs as well. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, the plus and minus button on the top is so that you can change gear manually, both up and down, should you wish to. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.